Hey buddy, welcome to the first 4K video on Wasn't Developer. This video is a bit special. In this video, I will share with you my experiences of building a PC for the first time. As I am very new to PC building and video recording with the camera, sorry if I have made any mistakes. First, I will start by telling you the configuration of the PC and then I will tell you my story of building it. I wanted a processor with good graphics as I am not ready to afford an external graphics card. The processor should be supporting Hackintosh. Basically, Hackintosh is running macOS on a PC which is not made by Apple. I wanted to build a Hackintosh because I can learn Final Cut Pro and macOS so I can make better and more videos for you. After being recommended by several other YouTube videos, I visited a website called TonyMacX86.com. From where I have chosen my PC parts as I did not have any idea of it. The processor I selected was an Intel i3-7100. Wait, but why am I showing Intel Pentium? That's because the Intel i3 is installed on my new PC and I cannot take the risk to uninstall it for this video. Next, I needed to get a motherboard. I had a feeling that only Asus motherboards and Gigabyte motherboards are the best, so I selected Asus H270 Pro motherboard. According to the Amazon product page and Tony Mac x86, it supports 7th generation processors. After reading from several forums, I got to know that for video editing of at least 1080p and sometimes 4K, I need a minimum of 8GB of RAM. As my motherboard supported only DDR4, and my processor and motherboard maxes up to 2400 MHz, I took an ADATA 8GB DDR4 RAM. I have never used an SSD, so I thought why not buy an SSD. After doing a lot of research, I bought the Samsung EVO 250GB SSD. I took a WD Blue hard drive from my mother's old laptop. The cabinet is 100R and the power supply is a 550W power supply. I had to have a dual monitor setup one screen for recording and one for reading my script while recording. But as I did not have much money left after these purchases, I had to stick with only one monitor. I selected a 22-inch LG monitor. All the product links for United States and India are in the written article. Please click on the top right corner to visit my website. After putting everything in the cabinet, I started the PC for the first time. Although I was excited, it was a bit scary, as I turned it on, nothing happened. All the lights would light up, fans would spin, but no display. I started doing research and found that the motherboard I bought needed a BIOS update to recognize the processor. So I thought that was the only reason that my newly built PC did not start. I have sent around two emails to ASUS to know what is the BIOS version that my motherboard shipped with and each time I got an inappropriate answer. ASUS, if you are watching this video, please include what is the BIOS version installed with the box of the motherboard as that can help a lot of users. After waiting for a few days, the only option left was to buy a processor that supports my motherboard and update the BIOS then install the i3. So I had to buy an Intel Pentium G4400 Skylake processor which my motherboard supports without any BIOS updates. I just wasted around 4000 rupees buying a processor just for 5 minutes. After its arrival from Amazon, I installed it on my newly built PC and it did not start once again. Now my father got worried and started unplugging all the connectors and reconnected them. My mistake was that I did not connect the headers, the power button wire of the cabinet to my motherboard properly. At that time I was a bit sad but it was covered with the happiness that my newly built PC just turned on. Once the BIOS update completed, I removed the Intel Pentium processor and installed the i3-7100 processor. Now it was the time to install Hackintosh. The process was super smooth and I did not get at least one error while installing. But as soon as the process completed, it was time to fix the graphics card. After trying to activate the full graphics acceleration for 2 days, I failed. Then I realized that macOS is not at all stable when installed on a PC. 
Now I installed Windows 10 and completed my new PC build. By building a PC, I got to know about the problems faced by PC builders. If you're trying to build a PC, make sure you have done everything correct and make sure you have done enough research before you buy anything. I would also like to thank my mother for giving me the money to buy all the PC parts and my father for helping me assemble the parts. With that being said, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. This is Wasn't the Flapper, signing off.